morning, hello. Um, so my name is Bianca. I am a molecular and cellular biology major, so that's MCB, in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Um, and today I'm gonna be taking you guys around um, my day just to see what day in the life of a LAS student is. Um, so I'm also doing a minor in bioengineering, and so I'll have a couple classes for both my MCB major and my bioengineering minor, um, as well as like some electives and stuff. Um, so I'll be taking you guys around and showing you my day. But the star of the show is this little guy. I'm gonna, he's a little bit camera shy, so I don't know how well he's picking up on camera. Um, but trust me, he's very cute, very active. He likes to do this thing where he just like sits on the rocks and I've never seen a fish do that, but he likes to do it a lot. Uh, but yeah, maybe I'll try to get some shots of him later on in the day. But for now, I'm going to make my bagel and some coffee and then we can get started on work. Okay, so we're trying a new angle here. I've been working on my resume for a little bit now, but I'm about to log into my class in like 10 minutes. Um, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the course. Um, so this is Bio E205. This is actually my first Bio E class that I'm taking um, in college because up until this point, it's all been prereqs um, to prepare me for these Bio E classes. Uh, but this one is Signals and Systems. So it's very physics and math heavy. Um, so I'm very grateful that I have that strong foundation in physics and math through my prereq courses. Um, so I'm going into this class with a pretty solid understanding of like the basics. Um, but this class talks mostly about circuits, I guess, in the context of biology and biotechnology. So I just finished class. Um, I have an appointment at McKinley, which is the student health center um, on campus here. And that appointment's at 1130. It's currently 1050. So I'm in a little bit of a rush. Um, but basically I need to get a few immuniza immunizations um, before I volunteer at a hospital called Carl um, that is close to campus. Um, so I just need to make sure that like everything checks out, I'm all safe um, before I volunteer in, in, per in person. Um, and since the weather just got really, really nice after like brutal two degree weather for the past two weeks, um, I'm just gonna take a walk. It's about 30 minutes walking from my apartment. Um, so it's I'm cutting it a little bit close, but we're gonna try to enjoy the weather. And I'm also gonna try to get some clips of Green Street and campus for you guys. Okay, so I just got out of McKinley. They stuck me with a bunch of needles. Um, so I think my left arm is gonna be a little sore for the rest of the day. Um, but right now, what time is it? It's 12 o'clock. I have a class at two o'clock. Um, so I'm going to actually, right now I'm walking over to the main quad and there's a building on campus called Everett. That's my favorite study spot. Um, so I think I'm gonna take my class there. Everett is actually, the full name is Everett Laboratory. I think I'll probably, yeah, maybe grab some lunch, study there for a bit, take my class there. Okay, hi. I finally made it to Everett. I actually got a room to myself, which is really nice. Um, and I also forgot to film this, but I did get coffee. It's on Green Street, the Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and it's really, really close to Everett. So I usually go Dunkin' first, then Everett, then study for like eight hours. Um, so today, I actually won't be here that long because I have, so it's one o'clock right now. Um, actually, hold on, backtrack. The most important part is my Dunkin' order. So my go-to Dunkin' order is a large French vanilla iced coffee with almond milk and no sugar. Back to school. So I have, it's one o'clock right now. I have a class at two. It's MCB 462, which I think the full name is Integrative Neuroscience. And so it's on neuroscience um, and the brain. Uh, so yeah, we actually have an exam in two days, which I have started studying for, but there is still one more lecture's worth of content today um, that's gonna be covered on the exam. So I'm gonna go to that class at two. Um, I'll probably take that class here. And then I think I'll stick around for a little bit because I have to study for the same class. So we're gonna drink all of this, study for a little bit. And I think my friend might be coming to visit me. So you'll get to see some other people besides just my face. Okay, so 
I just got got done with class um, and then after class I had a meeting for my research lab um, so those are all on zoom right now um, but some students still get to work in person in the lab I think I'll be going in later in the semester but as of now I'm all virtual um, but basically in my lab I work in the doc in dr. best's lab who is in the bioengineering department and in our lab we use this new um, imaging technique to image mouse brains and then we form 3D reconstructions of those. So basically we cut the brain into really, really thin slices and then we image each of those slices like on a 2D scale and then we stack those images on top of each other so that you get this 3D reconstruction. So we just got done studying and Shreya had an exam today so we're gonna get things from Target um, to cheer her up um, <laughs> as a reward for finishing her exam, um, most likely chocolate. So I will show you Green Street. So I just got back from Everett and I went to Bangkok Thai. Um, I got some chicken fried rice. This is how she's looking. And then I have my lineup of soy sauce and sriracha. I'm on, I'm on my couch right now. Um, and I've been watching the show called Firefly Lane. So I am on episode eight out of 10. So I think I'm gonna watch one episode and then I'm gonna get back to study. Okay, so I just got done with an event for DKT. Um, so we had study hours this week. We have them every week actually, um, and they're just on Zoom. Uh, but basically we have like a social breakout room and a like hardcore studying breakout room. Um, and so it's just a really good time to like socialize with the other sisters and also work on homework if you have any like light studying you need to do. Um, so normally that would be in person, but um, this semester and last semester uh, we made all events um, virtual just because we want to make sure that everyone's staying safe and we also do have some sisters that are off campus so we also want to make sure everyone's feeling included. Yeah I mean I just think Greek life is a great way to get involved with your community and college um, and I also just wanted to say that I know sometimes um, people don't think that Greek life is for them but I would encourage you to also look at fraternities um, or sororities that either have like a service focus or a professional focus. Um, because there's a lot of professional fraternities that are out there that help with professional development. I'm a part of AED, which is a pre-health frat. Um, and so that's open to anyone that's interested in pre-health. So it's not just pre-meds, but also pre-PA um, and a bunch of different careers within the healthcare field. Um, and it's been great to network and just be with people that have the similar, um, that have similar like academic motivations and goals as you. Um, so that's something I would really encourage people to look into. And it's just a great way to find a smaller community within such a big community like U of I. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video from the exact same spot I started in my giant hoodie on my bed. Um, but before I end it, I just wanted to share my final thoughts um, about the University of Illinois and being a student here in the middle of a pandemic. Um, but like I said before, I think the university has been doing an amazing job at first of all shifting to remote learning and then and also implementing in-person learning experiences whenever possible and in a safe way. Um, and the University of Illinois has been my second home for the past three years now and I'm very grateful to be able to go to be able to go to a university like this and also even call the University of Illinois a home. Um, so thank you everyone for watching my day in life and go Illini!